folks, welcome back to the ABC Journeyman. I am the Custard Prophet, and we're back here for the end of our first season here with Brackley Town. And uh, yeah, with the final game of the season, I'm showing you here Daniel Barjones. And you know, it's not all about him, but my god, look at how he has improved 15 goals in 11 games. Question is, though, has that 15 goals in 11 games has that helped us move? Closer to Cogs Hill, who were 10 points ahead of us with six games to go, or closer to sixth place out of the playoffs, who were nine points behind us with six games to go. Well, we've got one game to go out of that, and let's have a look. As you can see, it has gone very well, and actually, we sit just five points behind Colville, not Cogs Hill. That's <laughs> just making teams up. Do they exist? No, they do. They exist, but they're, 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 they're 18th, so that's fine. Ignore me. But we are in a guaranteed second place. We can't catch Colville. We can't be... We can't, Banbury United can't catch us. We have been outstanding, and it has primarily been because of Mr. Barjones. He has been in a purple patch of form. You saw the nil-nil. Tough draw away at Starbridge. We managed to get uh, get a point out of that. Pretty pleased with that. But that, I mean, the we <laughs> the only points that we've dropped have been games that you folks have seen. It looks dodgy as heck, but honestly, it's not. Uh, we played Alva Church away. They were something like 16th. Beat them 2-0. Hughes with an early goal. And then Barjones a little bit later on. Nice. Crazy game against Coventry United, who were struggling in the league. This was all over the place. We took the lead through Barjones. Um, then I think we went 3-1 up after they, they scored, um, Riley and Hughes. Then we got a player sent off, which wasn't great, and they caught us up. It was 3 all, And then they got a player sent off. <laughs> so, so it was all even, and then our two centre-backs scored. It all, none of it made any sense, but we got three points out of it. Here's Cogs Hall. Oh, look at this, uh, Five goals from Barjones. He ripped them to shreds in this game. Absolutely to shreds. It was it was lovely to watch. Against Stowe Market, he picked up another couple of goals with Steve Hughes with the other one. This was a tough old game. Stowe Market looked like they were coming back into it at the end, uh, but we managed to hold them off and to get the points. And then uh, Rushton and Diamonds, who were already relegated, Barjones hat trick. So yeah, he's been good. Fifteen goals. It's absolutely mad, considering he's only been here for 10 games. He has scored, not he's not far, he's, he's of distance away, but he's not that far behind Nico Heal, who has had a fabulous season for us. And uh, I imagine he's pretty pleased he doesn't have to have all the goal scoring on his shoulders. He has got some goals as well outside of this somewhere. He did score recently, didn't he? I, I feel he did. No, it wasn't here. Where did he score? I can't remember. Here he is. He's got a, he got a goal there against Banbury. That was an important one. But we're playing St Ives today. We beat them previously on the channel. It was a bit of a crazy game. You remember it. It was that 4-3 victory with a last-minute last, lap, last minute goal from Christian Andrews, um, which in some ways was the start of all of this run because we've only lost two, no, one game in that run since this 4-3 victory which is utterly insane uh, we have we've been fantastic but we've just not been particularly good in front of the cameras and this needs to change today what we're going to be finding out is who we're going to be playing in the playoffs there are well we know we're second but we could face either Lowestoft, Braintree Town or Redditch whoever it is that finishes in fifth that's who we'd be playing as far as I remember we will be playing the uh, fifth place team, but we'll be at home without in a single legged uh, playoff, and then we go into the final against the winner of third versus fourth. I don't know whether that's a um, an, uh, a neutral venue or not. I can't remember, but that is what we what we're going to be trying to achieve. But today it doesn't really matter what happens, but a win would be very pleasing. St Ives are eighth, so it gives us a little bit of a yardstick because we all we've been playing the teams down in this area here, so just above the relegation zone in the main. 
and we've won quite easily against many of those but we haven't played anyone a little bit higher up for a little while so let's let's do that right so one little change to the side Vasilu is coming in for Barnet um, just because there's a little bit of a niggle there and I just don't see the point in um, doing anything with that so team is Barjones and Riley Mac Riley in fact I think we're going to go back to Nico Heel see if we can get that working again Allen on the left Hughes on the right then Andrews and McCarthy in the center and the back line Vasilu Dunn Simons Johnston and Honor in goal it's uh it's a good side. It's a side that's won lots and lots of games. Confident side going into this game against St. Ives, who we had probably one of the most entertaining matches of the entire season against away from home. Here we go. We are playing in the red. What I want you to see, because I don't think you've actually seen Barjones in his full pomp and I'd like to see that before he moves back so I've, I've looked at about the possibility of keeping him around after the season the moment it doesn't look likely here's Andrews ball over the top it's Barnes <laughs> he scored there it is there it is 1-0 it doesn't take him long he is on the fire he's on the fire and his ass is burning it's brilliant McCarthy just waits for the pass and there's Andrews and does Everything he does well and behind his, and this is what he has that just little turn of pace to get him away from defenders. And that seems to be the big thing that he's got. He misses a few, absolutely, but he doesn't. Um, yeah, it looks like he just about got that right. He misses a few, but he um, he scores a heck of a lot as well. So here is Johnson, got the ball back here. Andrews playing around, Hughes up to Nico Heel, but he can't get on that. So they go in the other way. Simons is, he does well. That was a tricky one to make sure no one got near it. And here they come. Looks like Al Almeida. I've got to say, that was a beautiful bit of control on the chest. And, and their goalkeeper did well there. But yeah, we're not, we're not the perfect side, that's for sure. But we do seem to create some good, good quality chances. And we've got a good goalkeeper as well, which helps. Allen makes a tackle. Straight to them, though. It's a little frustrating. I mean, he's just been left for dead there. Johnson, header could have been better. Oh, oh, <laughs> what happened there? Archie Kieran somehow got the ball given to him. Not entirely sure how that works. It looks like a deflection straight into his path. Johnson, a poor header. Holland, Holland's got it. He goes for a shot here, and it, I don't know. It seemed to bounce off someone who wasn't there, but yeah, we'll, we'll ignore that. So it's one all. Right, dog went slightly mad there, um, but straight from the kickoff, this is. I'm probably not going to show the very start of that. You don't want to listen to uh, him barking like a crazy thing. But again. Lost the ball and it's coming back at us. And they've got right behind us, and that's in the back corner. That was a poor, poor decision from the goalkeeper. And all of a sudden, it's happening again. Early start, and then we've just uh, we've just capitulated in the last few minutes. Early days, though, so it's not the end of the world. Just need to stop giving chances away. But here is Nico Heel. Ball is long. Where is Barhone is? I have no idea where he is. But they've won the header there. And, uh, well, that is straight back to the goalkeeper. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe the chance is still coming. They go long. We just don't seem to be getting on the ball here, which is a bit odd. Here we go, Andrews. Just a poor pass. Hughes, no. Johnson. Are you going to put the ball in? Barhones, there he goes. One man team. It's 2 0. Not been particularly great, but we are using, using, using his skills. This feels a little bit like that 5 3 game. Although I thought we, we were dominant in that. This is easily the best team we've played for a while but it's two all are we are we going back to uh, you know a crazy crazy game we've had 20 minutes played and we've four goals scored 
And we're going the other way now. Johnson into McCarthy. McCarthy going to find the pass. Andrews. Lovely play. Vasilou. Hughes. He had a little shot there, Vasilou, but don't think that's the, uh, the chance. Johnson's around the corner here. Ball in or not. Hughes has picked it up again. A lot of danger here. Andrews has got some cracking balls. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he does. And the ball, that was a probably should have been a bit better from Barjones there. It's 2 all, and we're still going. 30 minutes is all we've played. McCarthy into Hughes. Obviously, we don't want a major injury to somebody, particularly the man up top. But uh, here's Allen. Find some space. It's Andrews. Oh, Andrews has gone wide. It was a goalkeeper, I think, who just pushed it wide. Very nicely done. And uh, again, now we're back on top, I think, in, in terms of play. It's it's going this way and that hard to know what on earth is going on right this is better 42 minutes in Hughes ball in Allen's off the outside of the post <laughs> oh dear good game well it's two all it doesn't really matter at the minute pretty even they scored two goals didn't they very well very shortly after each other Within, within a minute, I didn't realise that. So, uh, turn it completely around now. So, let's uh, let's have a better second half. Let's score a couple of goals, maybe, if we can. But, no, we've got the ball. No, they've got the ball. Here's Gowdon. Dunn's done well. Allen. Heel is just not winning. I think that's probably a place I would like a little bit more from us. Johnson does exceptionally well there to, to pick the ball off him. But the ball is coming back again and again and again. It's back to Johnson. Just find the pass, man. Don't keep going for the long ball because we aren't winning those long balls. Uh, oh, it's offside, I think. It was offside. So, we're going to push the tempo up a little bit and um, hope that that can do the, the business. We're also bringing on Ricky Aguirre, who's been a little bit of a spectator in recent times. Can he get himself a goal? Andrews goes wide to Aguirre. Here's, here's McCarthy. Ball is around. It's Andrews, who somehow loses the ball there I thought it was easier not to do that and there's Aguirre at the far post it's 3-2 very nice he comes on he scores a goal wow nicely done a couple more changes Morgan Owen is coming on for Neil McCarthy saving his legs and Liam Barnett's coming on uh, for Vassalou just to get him um, just get a few minutes under his his belt because he missed um, a little bit of match time due to due to injury. It's. I think this is the difference, I, and I I think I probably shouldn't speak to. So, oh, Nico Heel, it's in. It's four two. This is the difference, actually, in terms of quality of chances we've created. We've created some real cracking chances, as you've seen, um, and that's what we seem to be doing. So we we create probably similar levels of chances, or similar number of chances, just. The quality is a bit better, and Barjones does brilliantly there to give it to Heel. I was saying he hasn't scored for a while. He's got one there. That is nice. So uh, let's run in to uh, finish off with a win. Probably speaking too soon. Just about three minutes to go. We're in added time. Aguirre now. Johnson. Goes long. There's literally nobody there. It's a dreadful ball. But Owen's picked it up. A little bit of a... Poor control there. It's done. Can't be a chance here, can there? Barjones is milling around up top. It's into Allen. There might be a ball opportunity. In. It's into Aguirre. He loses it. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I thought he was uh, thought he was going to do better. Dunn goes long. Barjones, he's offside. Oh, 
he's had he's had a couple of those he's tight quite often but I think he has to do that and yeah second half we were much much better they had a great first half but a terrible second half I don't know why that was whether it was the changes we made but we certainly did what we needed to scored a couple of goals in the first half and a couple in the second half we won 4-2 we will take that continue our winning run which is nice to go into the playoffs on five or six games one on the trot no injury to Barjones as far as I'm aware there's been no yellow card so we've got no suspensions going into this uh, this playoff game let's just have a look so there we go very very good victory Colville got themselves a win right at the end uh, against Russian and Diamonds it didn't really matter 92 points in the end they did what they needed to do Banbury looked like they got a win uh, in their final game against Paget Rangers who are not a great side either looking at the three behind it looks like we're going to be playing Braintree Town Lower Stoft who uh, got a victory over Coventry United again as teams struggling down in the lower reaches of the league um, Redditch are the ones who missed out they drew against Braintree Town so uh, yeah that draw meant that uh, Braintree stayed in fifth place so that was that was well done for them looking at their recent form it's not been particularly great looking at it they did beat St Ives 3-0 which we de definitely didn't do but you look at some of the other results they've had um, losing at home against Coventry United home against Alva Church um, that's a good victory away at uh, Starbridge but there's some very very poor results in there 7-3 loss against Colville lost against us as well didn't they 3-2 but uh, yeah that's who, who we're going to be playing so well, let's have a look when it is and then when we come back in the next episode we'll be coming back for that one you cannot miss it folks you cannot miss it that is the playoff uh, semi-finals well, saying there was no injuries, Dave Allen, our left-sided midfielder, has dropped out injured. That is the last thing we needed um, right at this point. Three to four weeks, so he is going to miss everything. But at least it's not Barjones. We don't really have a replacement on that side, though. Anyway, folks, yeah, just thinking about what, who, who's going to... Right, anyway, folks, yes, it is a home game against Braintree in just three days. That is absolutely horrific. So uh, let's get the, get all these folks uh, rested because we shouldn't... We need all the rest we can get. We need to think, who are we going to bring in uh, to replace Dave Allen? Because that's a bit of a loss. Uh, it might be Vasilou who plays on that left side, but you could also bring in Nick Hargreaves. He's done a good job there as well. Um, you can see here, he played there a couple of times, did okay. 7.3 and a 7.5, so we might well be seeing him there. Um, that might be the thing to do. Anyway, folks, let me know what you think the outcome of the playoffs is going to be. Can we do it? Can we go all the way? We are on a cracking run of games. But, you know, a, a loss might just be around the corner. We just need to, hopefully, it comes in three games' time, not not two, day, two or one games' time. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.